welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to set up and use the surface diffusion geometry with the DHRRH accessory. The relative humidity accessory on the DHR rheometer is a powerful tool which allows users to monitor the rheological property change of a material and their both control temperature and humidity. This humidity chamber is used in combination with a series of geometries for testing varieties of different types of samples, from low viscosity liquids to solid. Among them, the surface diffusion geometry is specifically designed for testing the surface properties of liquid samples. For example, monitoring surface drying. First of all, please follow the DHRRH Getting Started Guide Manual and the RH Accessory Setup Tech Tip to properly install the humidity generator and humidity chamber. To set up and use the surface diffusion geometry, first insert the trough to the bottom geometry stage. Tighten the screws using the Allen key. Then load the ring to the upper shaft. Remove the front face of the humidity chamber. Press the release button on the instrument keypad until you see a continuous green light. Insert the bottom geometry stage. When the green light is turned off, the bottom geometry stage should be locked in position. Attach the upper geometry to the draw rod. Then, install the front face of the sample chamber. From TRIO software, open the surface diffusion geometry file. If this geometry file has not been previously created, then select Add New Geometry. Under the Geometry list, choose Interfacial Surface Diffusion. Leave all of the parameters as the default values, then follow the instructions to finish creating this geometry file. TRIOS will automatically lead you to perform the geometry calibration. The surface diffusion geometry calibration includes two steps, inertia and friction. The rotational mapping calibration is optional. Under inertia calibration, click on Calibrate to begin. This calibration takes about 30 seconds. After it is finished, click on Accept. Then move on to the friction calibration. The friction calibration also takes about 30 seconds to complete. The residual friction value is usually between 0.2 to 0.3. After it is finished, click on Accept. Then close this calibration page. The next step is to preconditioning the chamber and geometry. Under TRIOS, Control Panel, and Environment, set up the initial measurement temperature and humidity. After the chamber is fully equilibrated, zero the geometry gap. Open the front face of the humidity chamber. Load your sample into the trough. For example, we're now loading a white paint sample into the trough. Then, lower the upper geometry until the tip of the ring is fully in touch with the surface of the sample. Close the chamber and start the test immediately. To monitor surface drying of a paint, one typical test procedure is a dynamic time sweep under a controlled temperature and humidity. The user can monitor the change of surface moduli or surface viscosity as a function of time. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated how to set up and use a surface diffusion geometry with the DHRRH accessory. Please stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.